G'day! In the video before this one I compared a $25 eBay parting tool with some more expensive parting tools but I chose to uh, machine aluminium and it was suggested that I should have chosen steel so in this video I'll part some steel that's what I expect my parting to look like when I part steel first problem I had with the eBay tool was that it wouldn't fit in my turret so I didn't bother to do anything about it but I thought for this one I would so I set up my uh, lathe so that the quick change tool post was nice and parallel I used this little clock thingy that I've got to sort of see if it was somewhat parallel and then I realised it didn't matter anyway because I was machining the top of the parting tool and all that sits there is a cam so it's all a bit irrelevant really but I thought I'd include the pictures so that you could see how I attempted to get a nice uh, flat surface or well, actually just to remove some material so I could shim the thing up and get it on centre and here you'll see it is on centre and this is S1214 steel I know it's a machining grade but it's all I have I don't entertain the idea of machining anything much tougher than S1214 because I've got a half horsepower lathe and as you can see there's no tip there so the thing is on centre and it's cutting quite well it's only doing 2000 rpm I slowed it down from the 3000 I used for the aluminium and that's about 125 meters per minute with a feed of 0.03 per rev and you can see it's going in the grooves there quite nicely throwing the chips out but it is starting to run a little dry I'm using spray mist coolant and uh, it's not uh, putting out as much coolant as I'd like it to at this point I find it really difficult to get a spray mister to run with any sort of consistency here's the results the one on the right was faced off the other two are the result of parting that piece off. Now I've upped the speed to 20, 2400 RPM. The feed is the same and this is equivalent to approximately 150 meters per minute. We just faced it off to length. Now we're facing at the 0.5 facing operation. Now we're turning it again and it's still it's turning it quite nicely I think I got the Noga spray mister to throw a bit more spray on it for this operation you can see it's throwing the chips out of the groove quite well they're not jamming up in there or anything I think that's really not bad for a $25 tool including 10 inserts off eBay there's the results you can see for yourself it's really quite a fine finish on those not bad at all I'm pretty convinced the improvement came as much as anything from the higher RPM it got more coolant but I think the RPM did the trick you see that overhang I had to remove that and when I removed it I didn't get the angle quite right and that may have led to the chips that's what I did in the first instance and that may have led to the chips packing up and not getting away from the groove when I was doing the first comparative test so I sloped it off a bit this was from a, one of the comments uh, on the previous video so I've made a bit more of a slope of it and you can see here it does actually throw the chips out better this is the same RPM the same feed that I was using on the other for the other video it's just facing cut and a turning cut as I did for the steel then we go in and you can see it's really throwing the chips out quite well from the groove which it didn't do before in the previous video it wasn't that good 
that's much more convincing there and that's the finish I got in the aluminium I'm not good at this but um, I think it lets you see the difference in the way the swarf is getting away from the grooves one of these shots is from now and the other is from the previous video alright thank you for watching